Hey everybody, Elad from Ghost Team Live, and here is a quick overview of our Jungles Pack. Let's go! So first, we have this scene with this cool truss and screens. We have this new slider called Time of Day, where you can basically control the time. We could turn the sky off. We can turn the sign light off, which is basically kind of like keeping this directional light where you can still play with without having the sky in the scene. We have the screen power is always neon power, which is the uh, frame round. We have flower power, which basically we can make the flowers emit color. And now we have this new color control where you can just basically pick your own color. You could also go into this mode or this mode in order to, if you want to use like the old uh, U method or it doesn't have to be all of it, you can just choose whatever you prefer. Now it's more flexible. You can also choose the neon color and the atmospheric color, which is basically the light around. We can take this flower color, which will basically make the uh, flowers suck the color from our screen color. Uh, we have uh, our usual chasers, we have Atmo Move, which is also a new feature which will basically move the light, the atmospheric light which is in the back. It will also create some nice effects. We have smoke. All the jungle loops have smoke effects. We have this rain modifier which will give you the rainy option. Or storm. Ba -bow. We have this particle slider which will basically emit particles. And we have this stick called uh, Particles BPM, which in case you want to sync the particles to BPM, we can do something like this. We can click BPM Sync. We will click again and choose Envelope. We would open this one, four to the floor. And then if you tick Particles BPM, that will emit more particles and will basically make that look awesome. We have the Enable Texture as always with Inherent Color and this rotate cam which will basically spin everything around. Up next we have this array of screens and forests where we can for example take the screen up, screen sorry, bring the screen inside, we can rotate it, we can of course derive as always. We have the rain and smoke just like before, we have this option to move the spotlights, can change the colors just like before, flicker mode is always, is always cool. And as before, we can always um, turn the sky on if you want to create different variations. We can also add or remove the fog. Up next, this is kind of like in between the trees drive where we also have screens. We can activate them by click on screen activate and we can play with the screen size. As always, we can enable the texture to send something a bit more interesting. We can inherit color. So we basically get the visuals coming from up here. Um, we could also, of course, make it go a bit faster. We could also make it rotate. Woohoo! Awesome! We can turn it a bit higher. We can also change the color a little bit, create some cool effects. We can also activate our particles and then get really cool looks. Woohoo! Up next. Up next, we have this like screens in the forest kind of look when we, we of course, can rotate. Kill our texture, we have this feature called light beams. Let's maybe get a bit closer and higher. And what we can also do here, is also here we have the particles which come from the middle. And smoke, we have everything. Let's move next, we have these rocks where you can use this button called screen open. And then the rocks will become screens. Just like before, we can separate them a bit more, we can rotate. So you can create different variation, you know, as always we can move the camera, we can even do something like this from above. And we also, of course, have smoke and particles. Everything is included in all of the loops. Loop 36 is also a derived one, when we can uh, activate the screams up and down. And you can also go a bit deeper into the forest. What is nice is just before we can use the sky, or we can turn off the sky, but still keep the sunlight to kind of create this like moody lightning and choose how we want it to look. And of course, here we also have the atmospheric color to create various styles. Loop 37 is kind of like this ooh, fern kind of thingy, which is opening. And we have a lot of different ways that the screen can move. If, like it's kind of like outwards. Also the light can be more like outwards or random. We also have particles, we can also one thing we can do is even like sync the atmospheric power to the BPM just like we synced before. Another click for envelope and then four to the floor and then you have like atmospheric light. Change the screen color to like blue and it's pretty cool. 
noise. Up next, we have this like dual screen setup with this uh, fern in the back where we can uh, drive it. We can also, if you don't want the fern, we can take minimalistic, which will basically keep it only with the screens. And just like before, you can play with the screens if you want a little bit of different look, you can also have them face completely forward. Also kind of cool, which is more like a basic kind of um, display, but always basic, it's always nice. Which I also like is actually having the, the screen to the side and then use the smoke feature, which goes like, Shh, screen is on fire, screen is on fire. Pretty nice. Up next, we have this moon scene where you want to ask yourself, where is the moon? We have to activate moon rise. We can also control the size of the moon. We can always drive, let's start with the drive here. We can of course kind of like get kind of low and get an angle, maybe that's like more dramatic. We can activate the flower power or the flower color. So we're getting the texture from the moon. Also, we can uh, turn the moon into a light. We can enable the texture and then activate anything like this spinner. Woohoo! Can always have smoke in the pack like we showed before. And particles too. Woo! Pretty cool, you can change the color at any time and flicker that shit up. Last but not least is the neon look. As you all know, we love neons and here if you enable texture, it will actually suck the texture from here directly into the neons, which is pretty cool. We have lens flares, which is kind of like this flashy lights. You can also go into shoot mode, which will create this kind of like contrastic, turn the atmospheric power off here kind of like cool dramatic night look you also have the flower power and if you turn flower color it will also take the same color as neons and that's about it that's our jungle pack see you and thank you for watching ghosting live